Okay, what do we have here, apart from a really terrible camera angle? This is an electrophonic music centre. It has a turntable. A radio tuner. And an 8-track. Let's take a little closer look at this. Let's take a closer look at this record player. It's a BSR. Can you see that? A lovely old BSR record changer. Just like a lot of the BSRs, it has one of those flippable styluses. We have long play micro groove on this side, and if you flip it around, a stylus for 78 records. Also has the three speeds, fully automatic, and has a size selector. Can't really see much with the radio. And inside the 8-track, we have some very dirty parts which will need cleaning. It also came with these two nice speakers. And this, everyone, is what a stereo system should look like. All nice wood and brushed metal. So, let's turn it on and see how well, if anything, works. Alright, well, the dial's lit up, so that's a good sign. Let's test the radio. That's the tape. Okay, well I think that shows the radio is working. Let's just try to find something better than that to listen to. Radio appears to work. Fairport, his parents' house. Yeah, right, okay, yeah. So Simon Nicholas definitely still yeah. there, I know that. Uh, well, there you go, let's that, they're kind of, that's the essence of their property festival, isn't it? Okay, but let's F in. Let's see if we can get anything on medium wave. Although I think my computer's interfering with this, but... Yep, just a lot of buzzing caused by all those switching power supplies we have now. Let's see if long play works. Well, it's picking up a few things. Now, I'm not going to test the record player just yet because I did a little bit of a um, play about with it and I found that this tone arm is a little bit stiff. You won't be able to see it in the video, but that does not move very freely, so that's going to have to be oiled up. And I haven't cleaned the 8-track yet, so that's what I'm about to do right now. Well, I'm in the midst of cleaning this thing now. got my good old methylated spirit out to clean up the 8-track heads. And found out why the turn up, why the tone arm on the record player is quite stiff. Seventy, um, thirty-five year old grease. That's the problem. So I'll be cleaning that up. Anyway, while I've got this open, let's take a little look inside. Now this is inside. You can see the amplifier board. There's the tuner board. And over here we have the eight-track player which is still quite mucky, but much better than it was. Now, on the amplifier board, it looks like they've used some kind of chip here, but actually, what I think we've got here is two transistors in the same little thing. There's one there, and there is one... Um, right there. Got a bit lost then. I don't know how well you can see that, because the camera is refusing... Oh, yes. Decided it would actually focus. There we go. You can see there's two sets of three wires going into that thing there, so I reckon there's two transistors in those little things. And I'm getting the 8 track cleaned up. You might be able to see the heads are much better now. Still not perfect, but I've cleaned the little end contact thing. Head still needs cleaning. Got the capstan nice and clean. Now, if I could just get all that grime off that head, we can actually test the 8 track. Well, I've got the 8 track playing as you can probably see and hear. I can't get that head completely clean, but it does seem to work. The program thing works. Now 
No burnt out lights. You can see. You might be able to see that I haven't been able to get it completely clean. Let me just get the camera to focus in on it. Come on, camera. Focus. You know you want to. There's a fiver in it for you if you do. Hmm. Can't even bribe this thing. Well, I would try to show you, but stupid camera doesn't want to focus. Now I'm going to see if I can do anything with that record player. Okay, I'm now cleaning out the record player. I sprayed all new WD-40 into the underside of it, and now this tone arm now moves very freely. It's nowhere near as stiff as it was. With my good old WD-40. Just cleaning out all the complicated parts in here and put this together and we'll see how good it works. Well, here we are back with a slightly better camera angle. I've re-lubed and cleaned the record player and just look how long this thing takes to spin down now. Don't know how well you can see that on the camera. Well, that is going really good. Now, let's see if this actually plays. Oh, I'm just going to do this the manual way. See if we, if it plays. Oh, wrong stylus. I was using the 78 one there. Don't want this on too loud because it's a little bit late at night. Yes. No scratchy controls either. That's really good. You have to do it like that. Well, that's really, really good. Now I just need to give this thing a little bit of a clean and it'll be ready for the shelf. Well, I've cleaned this up and put it back together and now it looks really good. I didn't show you the connections on the back so I'm just gonna show you those in a minute. I'm getting my microphone wire caught up in all this. You can see we have antenna connections. There is also provisions for an auxiliary input and output to tape and auxiliary input as you can see right there. And obviously these are the speaker connections. And I found out when this is from. This is on the bottom of it and it has a schematic diagram. And right here I can see a thing that says J Parker 1975 716. So this was made on the 16th of July, 1975. And here it is, all cleaned up and on the shelf. Let's just try to get a better camera angle there. Got the FM antenna, which I forgot to mention, taped and up on the wall. And I have it connected to my two Acoustic Solutions speakers because they have a much better sound than the speakers that came with this. This thing really looks out of place in a vintage audio thing, but this doesn't. The real to real. Anyway, that's about all I've got to show you. I might do a few modifications to this. I might change that record player from a ceramic pickup to a magnetic pickup and of course put the right preamp in there. And I might also change the filter capacitor on the amplifier. Anyway, that's the Electrophonic Music Center from 1975. Now I've got to put this fan on because it's effing hot up here. That's going to be blowing into the microphone now. but. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, goodbye.